Hello again, uh, we're back with another tutorial. This time it is with Absinthe 5 from Native Instruments. Uh, it's sort of a, I've called it a moving pad, but it sounds a bit organy as well. Um, I'll show you the sound and then uh, we'll get down to it. So there it is. Okay, file, new sound, oscillator. We use all three oscillators. Oscillator A set to double, and this is a saw reel. Oscillator B set to double. This is a square filter two. Oscillator C. Set this to ring mod. This is a saw reel as well. Okay, transpose this one down one octave. Twelve. Stuff set it slightly. Push the phase up a tiny little bit. Point two o. Second one. Transpose this down ever so slightly. Point naught naught five six. Phase up to 0 0.060. Third one, transpose this down an octave again. Push it up again. 9936. Phase ever so tiny again. 0 0.032. Okay, mod for uh, oscillator A was the same. Unison, put this to 2. Transpose this up one octave, 12.050. Second oscillator, mod was the same. Push the unison up to two again. Leave everything else how it is. Oscillator C, mod was the same. Unison on up to two again. Keep everything else how it is. Okay, filter for oscillator A was an all pass four. I pulled this down to about ten, eleven thousand. Keep it at point five. The feedback was normal. Yep. Filter for oscillator two was a comb filter. I push this all the way up to about. 15, 16,000. Feedback kept it where it is. Push this up to 4.9. Okay, filter for oscillator 3 was a. Okay, well, I'll keep it on the low pass part 2. Pull it down to 866. Feedback point three two DB up to two point one. Okay, I'll let you hear it now just with the oscillators and the filters and no modulation. <laughs> Like I say, a bit organy, but um, when we start modulating it, it's going to get better. Okay, mod for oscillator one was ring mod. Keep it at sign. I pulled it right down to 0 0.5, 0 0.45, 0 0.5. Change this to ratio, actually, and then pull it down to 0 point. Push it up to 0 0.5. Okay, filter for oscillator B was a cloud. Transpose this down to 
take the rate down to 20 keep everything else as it was tone was the same mix was the same yep that's okay filter for oscillator 3 is ring mod again keep it on sign pull it all the way down to 1 change it to ratio again keep it on 1 actually pull the balance down to 0.5 just turn the volume of this middle section down to about minus 4 keep the other two up full ok I'll let you hear it again then we'll set the envelopes up for these three oscillators <laughs> So we'll set the oscillators up, the uh, amps up for these oscillators. All three of them were pretty much the same. We push the attack out to about 1.5. The decay down to about 2. Push the release right out to about 4. Yeah, do the same for all three of these. Okay, this is uh, going to gradually push the sound in as a keys press. I'll show you again quick. Okay, we're going to add another envelope. This one is for filter B1 frequency. This one has just got a really, really, really long attack. I pulled it all the way out to about 6. Decay out to about seven and a half. Pull the release out down to about eight and a half. It's never going to get to the release with the uh, MIDI clip that I've made, but we just really want this really long release. Okay, that's it for the envelopes. I'll play it again. <laughs> now the first one is a super cone keep it on hertz push this all the way up to about 22,000 all the way up to the top keep the feedback of 0.5 everything else where it was feedback changes to frequency shift keep it on a sign pull it down all the way down to about four just under four Keep the mix at about 0.4. For the tone, just keep it how it was. Okay, the second filter we'll use is a low pass filter. Pull this down to 866. Feedback where it is, dB at 2.5. feedback isn't normal. The effect we use is a resonator. This is what gives it that sort of swirling effect. So we'll go to the effect page. Click on the resonators. Push the volume of channel A up to about there. B a bit further and then C the same as A. And master all the way up. Pull the low pass down to about 15. Keep the high pass where it is. Keep the wet and dry both where it is. Click the surround on. Press the t rotate button to get it moving. Push the position up to about 2 o'clock and the spread about the same. Pull the seconds down slightly to 1.7, 1.75. That should do it. Okay, we want all three of these turned on. First one is resonant. Second one synthetic. And the third one natural. 
You're just going to have to bear with me with these and just, just copy these. Check this button here on the top one just to reverse it so it's opposite to these two. You can have any values here you want. It, it just pu pushes each resonator different to the other ones. I'll just fiddle around with it until I've got one that I wanted. Let's say you can move these around as you want, but I'll set it up how I had the patch originally. Eighty-seven. Keep up them three on fifty. Okay, the size was twenty-seven. Feedback was sixty-two. Tone pulled it down ever so slightly. Drive pre-delay was eighteen. Diffusion I pushes up to about point four nine. Okay. Let's listen to it with this. Okay, the last thing to set up is the LFO and then the patch is done. I say we kept the LFO on a sign, change this to beat, push it up to two. Phase 0.2. And that is it. Keep everything else how it was. All the buttons checked. Sample and hold. Just keep it on the triangle. As I say, that's it. This is now the patch done. So I'll play it a couple more times. I'll show you it with a little beat that I made. <laughs> Okay, there it is. Once again, thanks for watching. This is the first Absinthe one that I've done. I'm still getting used to this synth, but uh, there will be more to come. So I hope you liked it. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, or subscribe. Uh, any questions about Absinthe, Massive, or any other synths that I use, uh, feel free to ask. Okay, thanks. <laughs>